Okay, it's time now for today's Focus Report, and it takes us to meet the friends and family of a man who went missing back in 1957, when he was just 25 years of age. Maurice Audin was a mathematician and communist who was abducted from his home in the Algerian capital by French soldiers and was never heard of again. His family have been fighting for the truth for decades. Naimen, Laoui, Marie Schuster and Thomas Waterhouse have been to meet them. I only really know my father thanks to three black and white photos. I've never seen him in colour. I never saw him in real life. He's a complete stranger to me. His father was Maurice Audin, a French mathematician, a communist activist and a champion of Algerian independence. Much has been made about the circumstances surrounding his disappearance. It was on the 11th of June 1957 during the Battle of Algiers. Audin was just 25 years old and was already a father of three. Maurice Audin was arrested at his house by soldiers, who then took him to the LBR detention centre, where they interrogated and tortured him. Those are the facts that have been established. It was a night that his wife has never forgotten. We went to bed. The children were all asleep, and uh, during the night, there was a knock on the door. They'd come for my husband. They took him away, and then we never saw him again. From the moment when Maurice Audin stepped in the LBR detention centre, there was no further trace of him, apart from the witness statement made by Henri Alleg, who said that he saw Rodin in the centre and he noticed he had been tortured. This is Henri Alleg, a communist activist who was detained the day after Maurice Audin was arrested. We've managed to find the handwritten testimony that he wrote. I saw Maurice. He was haggard, his face pale. He murmured to me, it's hard, Henry. On the 1st of July 1957, Josette Audin was summoned by soldiers. They said they had a piece of good news to share with me. And that was that my husband had escaped and they had nothing more to say to me. I walked out of there in tears, saying they'd killed him. This theory of an escape floated around until 2014, when the then French president, François Hollande, officially declared that Maurice Audin had in fact died in detention. Two years earlier, Hollande had paid his respects at Audin's monument in Algiers. There was progress in the case when François Hollande announced that this idea of an escape had in fact been a lie. What's lacking at the moment, though, is a recognition that Maurice Audin didn't simply die during his detention as a prisoner who killed himself in his cell, but rather that he died because of the torture he was subjected to while in the hands of the military. So there's still some way to go before the state accepts its responsibility in the death of Maurice Audin. Dans la mort de Maurice Audin. Another advance came last February thanks to one communist MP and one MP from the government's benches. The maths whiz kid turned politician Cédric Villani decided to act. This winner of the coveted Fields Medal relayed this message about the affair from Emmanuel Macron in January. President Macron has authorised me to share his personal belief that Maurice Audin was killed by the French military. I am convinced of this and I hope that the President will take a bold stance on this dossier. We're not here to name the culprits, but rather we are working towards truth, reconciliation and facing up to the facts. Then last February, a former conscript came forward to say he thought he was the one who'd buried Maurice Audin. Having had their fingers burnt in the past by similar claims, the family prefers to remain prudent. 
It would surprise me if we ever learn the details of what actually happened. What this witness describes in the newspaper L'Humanité is something quite awful, whether it's about Maurice Audin or whether it's about someone else. Audin's son Pierre prefers to push on for a declaration from the highest echelons of power. We want the president, as the head of state, to say that Maurice Audin was kidnapped, tortured and assassinated in the name of the French state by the French army, and that his case is just one among many others because of the system that had been put in place. Josette Audin has been praying for this recognition for over 60 years. It's something I want, but all these years, I've often doubted that it will ever come. And then he's not here anymore, in any case. Shortly after his election, Emmanuel Macron telephoned Josette Audin. It was the 11th of June 2017, the 60th anniversary of her husband's disappearance. Macron pledged to do all he could to bring her the answers she's been waiting for for so long.